Hey everyone, Selena for Who is Jesus today. Let's speak a little bit about change and transformation. You know, we live in a world where um, a lot of, there's just a lot of medicated uh, people. And there are uh, people that, of course, they need to take uh, certain types of medicines. Um, it keeps some people alive. And so I'm not a knocking uh, s s medical care and medical attention but I'm kind of using this more say uh, metaphorically that it is so easy sometimes even in, uh, within the church the body of Christ to look for quick and fast remedies and solutions to turn to the ibi, uh, ibuprofen for uh, to get rid of the, the pain say really quickly and again more metaphorically right here sp speaking or figuratively speaking, than to just spend time and to be willing to wait before the Lord, to seek the Lord with what's inside of us, with the stuff that's troubling us, that we can't seem to overcome, to be led and, and, and to get involved with the appropriate type of leadership or uh, uh, counselors that will guide us closer to the cross, that would guide us to be seekers and pursuers of God, but to be true to ourselves and to open up ourselves more and to see what is really deeply troubling us, instead of turning to the quick solution or the fast food method to get rid of our problems and our struggles. You see, uh, again, like I say, sometimes it's just about, let's pop the pill because I can't handle the pain, okay? Um, let me get myself a little sedated so I don't have to think about it and numb these things that I'm uh, struggling with. But you know, the Lord wants us to come to Him as we are, to be open, to seek Him, to ask Him, and to tell Him what is going on inside of us. He already knows. But you see, it's the place of humility that brings us into that place of agreement with God and, and, and that pride that wants to, that pride is like a wall that keeps us from receiving from God, receiving blessings, receiving our deliverance, and also receiving from others who want to show us care. You see, and sometimes we just have to say, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well at this, as you think. Or, um, this is uh, something that has really, say, troubled me for, um, for some time. And you've been functioning over it. And functioning over it. And there comes a point where we can't keep functioning over things. So who am I speaking to today? I don't know. It could be you. It could be anybody out there. At the times I'm speaking to myself. But I do know that... Um, Sometimes in our society, you know, we get uh, pushed along or we push others along instead of really opening up and allowing ourselves to come before God. And God already knows who we are. He knows all things. But He wants us to ask. He wants us to um, inquire of Him. Um, say, God, I need you here. You know who I am. This has been going on for a while. In my heart, my mind, I need you. You see, I believe that our breakthrough comes in us opening up, being honest toward the, to, to, toward the one who we are calling on, God. Because he knows where we are. But you see, our pride makes us not even want to keep pursuing and asking. And... Um, we have not because we ask not. And so we, uh, I want to encourage you on this channel, those that view and, and subscribe. Um, I feel the Lord's putting in my heart more and more. Open up yourselves and, and, and just keep going before the Lord. The Lord is looking for seekers. Seek me and you will find me. Instead of us uh, being so enticed to look for the quicker solution to run to the meds that can numb uh, the pain for a while but it doesn't cure the problem you see to try and put a band-aid on that open sore that wound that has been there in your heart for so long because if we can function over it and a lot of times because we can function over stuff we think that we are we got it under control 
No. Just because you can still go on and function doesn't mean you have it under control. There's going to come that time when you can no longer function over it. When you can no longer cover it up and put on a band-aid. When those meds will no longer numb that pain that you've been carrying for a while. I encourage you to keep going to the Lord and seeking Him and opening yourself up and I say first to myself let's not let pride be that wall that fortified wall that blocks us from receiving the blessings of God the of the love of God love from others and our deliverance if we have a need we can bring our needs to God because you see true transformation it's, it comes through redemption, um, not through religion, and certainly not through just, say, trying to do better and better in our own strength and might. There's a place where we have to be accountable and responsible for our choices is based on our will. But there are times when um, things have even, even been, been uh, passed down through our parents and generationally, we have seen certain types of behavior from childhood that those things have a strong grip on people and um, stronger than what often we can realize and they're strongholds and you know strongholds they don't respond to just quick solutions right and so um, we're gonna have to be a seekers of God to know him more and to be closer to him and to come into that communion with him and to be open and then we start to see transformation taking place because you can love the Lord you are serving God and you can still have a stronghold something in you that has been residing way over time and you're functioning over it you function over it with the title you function over it with the ministry but you got to come open and you got to we got to get past that wall of pride and um, it is so true if you seek me, you'll find me. That's what the Lord tells us. For some of you out there today, you need to just seek the Lord. Don't try to figure it out. Maybe you don't need to even call anybody and say, Can you pray for me? Or, I got this problem that has its place. We need prayer warriors. We need people who we can trust and connect to. But we can trust no one more than God. And so, I encourage you out there. Some of you need to hear this. Seek God today with whatever those issues are. Seek Him with all your heart. And you will find Him. He's waiting for you to seek Him. He's there. He hasn't gone anywhere. It's us who take the detour. Okay? So, that's, those are my thoughts today. Um, kind of put a few things in there. <laughs> Maybe that was a little bit of a fruit salad. <laughs> Okay, for lack of a better term, but um, I think if it does work sometime, I think that there are uh, some people today that can really resonate. You got some things that are going on, you don't know how to handle it, and you, maybe you've had a lot of counseling, and you say, well, you know, these band-aids are getting old, these meds no longer work, again, figuratively speaking, and so go to God. Maybe you've been running. You're running from the one you should be really going to. First and foremost. Tell the Lord your need. And believe God for your deliverance. Okay. Transformation. It comes. The gateway is humility. Before the Lord. Okay. So those are my thoughts uh, today. You can like and subscribe. Until next time. Shalom.